recently filmed a plant shopping video at a nursery called Big Bloomers. It's about two hours away and by the time I got there they were almost closing and I would have gone there earlier if I would have known all of the amazing amazing plants that they had. Uh, that video ended up being an over budget but worth it because I was completely blown away. I think I bought like 11 plants. If you want to see that video I'll put it here. Um, but so many of you commented and said please go back we want to see the rest of the plants that they have. So of course I had to oblige. This video ended up being an over budget but worth it as well. Now if you enjoy plant shopping and crazy plant person vibes and that brings a smile to your face make sure to subscribe so episodes will show up in your newsfeed. We also have an amazing plant community on Instagram that we would love for you to be part of. Now a big thank you to our friends at Glasses USA for sponsoring this episode. I recently went to my eye doctor. She told me I have a condition called Pinguecula and it's from UV ray damage and it's very, very easily prevented. But in order to prevent it, you have to wear glasses or sunglasses that prevent UV rays. I wear my glasses every single day at home and I don't film that often with my glasses on just because of lighting and reflection. I have a hard time because I wear my glasses all the time dealing with sunglasses and I would need to have sunglasses with prescription and the whole thing. So I ordered some new glasses from Glasses USA. I'm obsessed with them, but I ordered them with Transitions lenses. Now these transitions lenses block 100% of UV rays and they help block a harmful blue light as well. So my eyes feel a lot better when I'm, you know, editing all the time on my computer or I'm on my phone. So I'll show some footage here of what it looks like. It's amazing. Inside they look like this, totally clear. And then when I go outside they totally switch up and I really love the colors. Now you can personalize any frames with transitions lenses so that it matches your style. The glasses that I chose are Amelia E. Francis and I love them. They look really cute. When I go outside and they transition to the sunglasses, I can just put these glasses on and I'm good to go whether I'm indoors or outdoors and the hassle-freeness of it has been really, really great. GlassesUSA.com offers over 9,000 prescription glasses at up to 70% off retail prices. Click the link in my description below to check out their beautiful glasses and transitions lenses. I'm so excited for you guys to see all of the amazing plants that they have at Big Bloomers. And don't forget my haul is at the end of the episode. And if there are plants that you see that you would have picked out, definitely let me know so I can keep an eye out for them next time. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So they have all of these greenhouses which um, have a lot of outdoor plants and this greenhouse actually it's quite a few greenhouses these are all their indoor plants where they have a lot of their indoor plants in here and it really is so remarkable and I came extra early today so I have all the time in the world to just check it all out. In this particular section are the herbs. They also have a lot of Hoyas hanging, which again, I'm not gonna go in detail on the ones I've already covered in the first episode, but a lot of the Hoyas are $15, $20. Um, these are Crimson Queen. There's also Australis, big baskets over there. Pubicalyx are 15. Snowdrop Cactus, 21. They have some variegated peppermint. It's so pretty. Hoya Australis, 24. Hoya Macrophylla, 24. Big baskets of Hoya Croniana, 21. All sorts of Calatheas here. They even have Calathea Yellow Fusion, which I have never seen anywhere except for here before or imported. These are $34.94 for these big baskets of it that have multiple plants in there. They also have White Fusion. So you can see the difference between White Fusion, which I do see around, and the Yellow Fusion. It's so, so beautiful. Calathea Burl Marks, $19.95. Calathea Princess Jessie, 19. 
Some more yellow fusion. Oh, they're on sale, $29.95. These are the smaller pots. Calathea Tigrina, $4.95. Ah, $4 for that, oh my goodness. I love this place so much. Calathea Lancifolia, $7.95. Calathea Black Rose, $7.95. Dottie, $4.95. Makoyana, $4.95. Ooh, some Syngonium Pink Splash. $19, $19.95 for these Pink Splash. And these are so beautiful. Oh, here's some more. These are more. So these are $19.95, but then these seem to have more variegation. These are also Pink Splash. These are $69.95. So I'm not sure what's going on there. They also have this really awesome Syngonium Red Arrow, $49.95. Rare, you know, uncommon. Look at these huge, beautiful white ones. Syngonium White, $15.95. Hoya Gracilis, $19. You know, a lot of this is different already from just the last time that I was here. They have these, this is discolor. They didn't have these before. These are $19.95. Have Episcias back here, absolutely beautiful. Vanilla Orchids, $12.95. I don't think I've ever seen this kind of, it, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, it's a Cryptanthus Black Mystic, $14.95. I can't get over the lime green and like the zebra pattern. Oh, it's so beautiful. These are all Cryptanthus. I noticed these thinking that they were string of turtles, but they're not, they're like, they look so much like it, but they're, the leaves are a little bit different shaped. 1095 Plectranthus prostratus. So it's definitely related to the same um, string of turtles, but just different leaf shape. Ficus triangularis. Don't see that around as much anymore. There's Peperomia prostrata, string of turtles. Some Tradescantia, this is the pink panther. The carnivorous plants. Went over those last time. What are these? Oh, Anthurium fingers, $4.95. <laughs> they aren't mature yet, but as these go from their juvenile to adult form, the leaves start to spread out like this and uh, it looks like fingers. That's why it's called that. They're good, good growers. Really easy care. Anthurium. Here we have the um, Anthurium fingers, $15 for the bigger ones. So cool. Yeah, it's like different stuff than last time. Some of the same, but different. All right, here are the Alocasias. The last time I came, I got some really cool stuff. I got the Alocasia Ninja. They just have little guys. Alocasia Sinuata, $8.95. The Ninjas, $8.95. Black Nebula. Oh, look at the lizard. <laughs> Black Velvet. Then they have Bambino. So cool, Tiny Dancer, Silver Drag, oh, it's Tiny Dancer is $5.95, goodness. Silver Dragon, $10, Dragon Scale, 12 Alocasia Aslanii, I got one of these last time I came. I'd never seen one before, I couldn't believe it. Uh, Alocasia Silver Dragon, looks like some fried eggs. All right, so this is an interesting Caladium. Caladium New... What is this? Caladium New Red, $7.95. Wow, these are beautiful. Caladium New Red. They have lots of different jewel orchid varieties. And uh, here are all the different ones they have and the prices. I mean, it's crazy. $8 for like uncommon orchids. Gosh, it's amazing. Oh, and they up here ha have a sort of, this happened to me last time I got all choked up from the uh, excitement of it all. Polynesian Ivy, again, I'm just kind of racing through this part. Um, even though some of this is different. Conchifolia, $13.95. Dora has one of these in her recent houseplant tour she showed me and I just thought that was so cool. So this is a Peperomia in Incana and I picked up one of these the last time I was here and it is just thriving. Can I say it's the easiest Peperomia? It has the most 
beautiful heart-shaped leaves and they're so, so fuzzy. Some snake plants. Got some ZZs. Bunch of their ZZs out of curiosity. $11.95. They have raven ZZs. Oh, these are Zenzies, it says. Oh my gosh, look at these. Oh, totally walked right past the variegated whale fins. And they're $69.95. A friend of ours calls these whale tail. <laughs> oh, it cracks me up. Here we have Peperomia scandens. Some really beautiful Aglionema. Not sure what variety. Variegated princess flower. Hmm. It's unusual. I think that's an outdoor plant. Glory bush. Fuzzy foliage. Do love some fuzzy foliage. Zebra plants. They have purple passions. $4.95. Mm, look at these Rex Baconias. Oh my goodness. These big Pilea peperomioides are $19.95. Looks like there are... I'm in the peperomia section. There's all sorts of great ones. Kind of seeing if I see anything unusual. Radiance, $4.95. That's unusual. Look how pretty that is. Kind of shiny. Meridana maculata variegated. I've never seen that before. I come here and it's like all these plants I've never seen before. Ooh, look at this Peperomia. Orba variegata, Peperomia pink marble. The girls at Cactus Club were telling me about this one because they can get variegation and look similar to the pink princess. Not pink princess, pink lady that we all love so much. That's a maybe, $11, heck yeah. What else do we have here? Keto, we have some um, orchids. But I heard something and there, oh, there's the greenest lizard. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I have this whole section that has house plants and then also over here are all the amazing cacti succulents I didn't get to explore last time. So I'm so excited. Look at these beautiful Monstera Peru, $54.94 for these huge, huge guys. Um, looks like a Syngonium Mojito, Philodendron, Florida, Mint. Look at this beautiful Anthurium Clarinervium. It says 150 on there. Thai Sunrise. Just lovely. This is officially the best deal I've ever seen on <laughs> Rapid Afford to Curse of Us. $4.95, guys. Less than $5 for these. That is insane. <gasps> wow. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Keep going. <laughs> Look at these. Raptophora tetraspermas. Again, $5. $5. And they're already getting fenestrations. Wow. How much are these? Like, these are like, these are decent sized. $5.95. <gasps> Holy cow. This is why I drove two hours to come here when I was recently here anyways. I just had to again. Silvery and $7.95. All sorts of great pothos. What kind is this? Marble Queen. Are these global greens? Pothos Emerald. Pothos Emerald. $7.95. Oh, ooh, look, Shangri-La. Oh, how much? $29.95. I love these. There's good growers too. A lot of people like, they're like, oh, it looks like spinach. Yeah, it does. If it gets a lot of light, these do open up. So actually, I, you know, if you like the closed look, which I kind of do, I recommend like not giving it too, too much light. And look, they have Amplissimum, $29. Best deal ever. This is another Epipremnum. Um, I have one of these, it's fabulous. This one looks like a Monstera Pinati Partita. Yes, it is, 
this type of monstera looks very similar to Peru. This one's Peru over here, and this is Pinati partita. But um, these leaves just have a little bit of a different shape. The little ripples aren't as pronounced, and this one fenestrates much earlier than the Peru. You can kind of see little fenestrations beginning on these leaves. What do we have over here? Silta Picana Monstera, 16. We have these Peru, 29.95. So yeah, this is definitely like the little Monstera section. Ooh, like all of this was full last time and I don't know if they moved stuff or it got sold, but yeah, it's different. So I'm kind of just going through. Ring of Fire Gold. Wow, $50. Look at that. It has this sh cool shape like you do a jungle boogie and ring of fire, but it's gold. Oh my god, that is so tempting. That's a maybe. <laughs> I was planning ahead of time for this to be an over budget but worth it video because I just knew that, I mean, this place has ones I can't find. Xanadu, $5. Oh, and then hanging all up here as I'm walking along are beautiful begonias and pothos and then over here are the really cool tradescantia let me see if they have the one i was just lusting after last time oh it's over here <gasps> this is it this is the one oh where it looks like it's so weird but it looks like it has cobwebs on it but it's not it's the plant oh 20 dollars for this huge plant Silla montana variegata or oh, they have a few of them so yeah, I am really, really excited. They still have some of these. They're so like interesting. What's this? Painted Lady 24. Lots of plants in each one of those pots. Um, and and Sony I five dollars. Ooh, they have fuzzy petiole. Just this one here. How much for these fuzzy petiole? Um, 24.95. This is a neat Tradescantia. Kind of different leaves, $12.95. Pale Puma, Palita Pale Puma. Like, totally different varieties here. I've never even seen before. Moonlight, $19.95. Is this an Imperial Red or Rojo Congo? Black Cardinal. That's a nice big one, $17. A lot more of these interesting Tradescantia varieties. Fascinating. And then here they have all sorts of assorted Dracaena, which is really cool. Tradescantia lilac. Boom, look at that color. <laughs> What's down here? You know, and stuff will be kind of just hidden in here, so I like to go really slowly and look through everything. Diffenbachia panther. Like, what are these little ones here? Schistomaglottis wallachai, $4.95. Like, I just saw these in Charlotte for a lot, lot more than that. Um, at one spot. It's like, this place is amazing. What else? Okay, some larger painted ladies. These are 40, 45. Or 49. And then these look like jungle boogies. Taking a peek at their fern section, because I didn't get a chance to last time. They have eyelash, rabbit foot. Um, I think these are like lemon button, staghorn. $8.95 for the staghorn. Crocodile fern. How much for the crocodile fern? $8.95. They have Hartley Fern. I've managed to keep mine alive. I killed my first two and I'm on my third one, but I keep it by my sink in my kitchen. So I see it all the time, $7.95. If these get dried out for like for any period of time, they die. What else? Lots of um, Blue Star Fern. This one's interesting, like a ruffle. Oh, they have a uh, Domino, Domino Peace Lily. You can see the variegation on there and the texture of the leaves. The Domino Peace Lily is $21.95. They also have these massive, massive Cebu Blue hanging baskets. $40 for that. Like, for Cebu Blue. It's, I mean, unheard of. 
The best deal ever for those humongous baskets. Oh, they have uh, mandarin plants. China, uh, yeah, ma mandarin, I think that's the what they're called. They have these like sherbet orange stems. They're so cool. And you can see all the hanging begonias. Oh, I missed it before, but they have Trubii Moonlight and they have it on a trellis. I've never seen that before with Moonlight and that's, that's really, really neat how they've done that. All right, taking a peek. What else do we have? Some little Birkins, $4.95 and Black Cardinal. Oh, we have some Florida, Florida Ghosts. It says 103. I don't know. Um, Moonlight. Let's see if this is Jungle Boogie. Yes, 595. Philodendron Red King, 495. They're little, little baby plants. Guys, Pink Princess. Pink Princess, $34. Never in a million years thought I would see that. Like, look and some of them have really nice variegation you know give them some light that's amazing all right philodendron campii five dollars i almost bought one of these um it was a lot bigger than this though and it's 19 so i'm gonna think about if i want to get this from here or get the bigger plant but i mean 5.95 great deal and i love these leaves like look at those philodendron leaves they have, uh, these are Shangri-La, it says. Philodendron Shangri-La, $4.95. $5, it's like craziness to me. Goldie Eye, $4.95. Insane. Oh, here they have the Ring of Fire Gold again. You know, I love Jungle Boogie. I love Ring of Fire, so this might be one. All right, here's the one I really, really was excited to see if they still had it in stock um because i've never seen it anywhere before and it's the warshawesi oria 44.95 <gasps> i could not stop thinking about this plant oh my gosh it's amazing like amazing <laughs> why am i into these two plants i guess because i've never seen them before and i saw them last time and couldn't stop thinking about them especially this one. Oh, they have bigger pink princess these are 50 and you know i know uh costa farms recently did a like a sale of pink princess on their website and theirs was for 50 for large size pink princess not much bigger than these and they sold out instantly so to have these here for 50 dollars and they have some nice variegation on them this is really really good a really really good deal like crazy all right, some more philodendrons. Let's see. These are all still pink princess. These are Squammy Ferrum. $40 for the Squammies. Love. By Penifolium Aurea. <gasps> Gosh, they really are outdoing themselves. These are $45. They have some Mykins here. $7 for the Mykins. They have Philodendron Red Atom. Or sorry, Philodendron Red Heart. I don't know much about this plant, but uh, it says it's rare, $45.95. Cute, compact. They have varicosums, $49.95. These are hard to find. I am so, so excited to see the plants they have in here. Like, I can't even tell you. I didn't get a chance to really look in here last time and I have not stopped thinking about it. First off, they have beautiful variegated strings of string of hearts, $29.95. Macrophylla Hoya, $24.95. Oh my gosh, variegated jade over in these little hanging baskets, $12.95. You know, I love cacti and succulents and I don't hear them talk about that much, but I can find really cool varieties here. Like look at these um, variegated Apuntias and they're such a good deal. Like, let me see if I can, look at this one, holy cow. Look at this, <laughs> like look at this beautiful Apuntia. I don't see a price on there, but all the other ones are like $10, you know. That one is kind of tempting me actually. Look at that Apuntia, I can't get over it. $4.95 for these. Look at these little chonkies. <sighs> Oh, this is so nice. 
You know, I needed a day like this today. Just a chill out, look at plants day. $4.95, assorted Apuntia. These are interesting though. They're, um, their spines are yellow. Huh, then here are all the different bunny ear varieties. Ooh, some euphorbia. Like, look at these little chunkies. I got one of these last time and it, they take forever to get this size. And I think they grow a lot of their own plants here. So you can find reasonably priced plants that are like bigger. And for these being $4.95, like what a steal. These ones are called Euphorbia Japonica Pineapple Plant. Oh my god, $6.95. Look how adorable that is. Ooh. Euphorbia resin fera. Look at this euphorbia. I love the color. It's like this lime green color. And the stems are like a bright red. $11.95. Look at this one. Look at these. Oh my gosh. This is so... These are so cool. Euphorbia platyclata, the dead succulent. Ooh, $9.95 is called the dead succulent because it looks like it is, but it's not. That's so cool. This is $6.95 Euphorbia in Fausta melon sponge. Oh my gosh, I need them all. Look at these little chunky guys. Oh, he's so cute. And look, his little like antenna's coming out. Ooh, look at this one. Oh. oh my god, I love them all. What kind are you? This is a Euphorbia obesa monstrosa. I mean, look at all those little pups growing off of there. And they're all like that. I am just completely obsessing over them. Ooh, they have corn cob cactus. Seven dollars. They have var the variegated and non-variegated. Oh, and then they have another one, sub mammillaris, that looks like corn cob, but this like little baby ones. Wow. Look at these. Dang, look at these ones. Nine ninety-five. And I love how they're all labeled. It helps me so much. Wow. Oh my gosh. $8.95 Thin Leaf Euphorbia Dakari. Oh, and if you know about um, succulents and cacti and all that, leave in the comments if there are ones that you're noticing that like are hard to find or rare. And um, I don't know, if you have any like knowledge that you can share, definitely let me know. I think these are the same kind but bigger. Maybe $7.95. What are these? Ouch. My goal is like to make it without pricking myself a hundred times. <laughs> Look at these ones. Oh my gosh. Ooh. What is this one? These kind of look like Euphorbia lactea, like the ghost cactus, but they have green. Euphorbia... Tri Euphorbia trigona variegated. It looks just like my uh, ghost cactus, but a little different. And I love these little leaves that it has. Beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, look at this kind. Are those little flowers? Wow. That is really cool. Still Euphorbia. Oh, wait, here we go. Euphorbia guanthera. $6.95. Oh, I love, love, love. Wow, look at these ones. They look like octopus or squid. Medusa's head, Euphorbia. I totally see that. Wow, look at that one. That one's really Medusa's head. I love the names. All right, uh, Werner Cactus Hybrid. Mystery color. Werner Cactus Sabrina, $6.95. Okay. Oculata. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I'm just really fascinated.
fascinated. Cactus burgundy velvet. Oh, look at this one. Wearing a cactus raspberry tart and look at the flowers on it. That is so cool. $6.95. Wearing a cactus Procuben $6.95. Look at these little ones. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed. <gasps> Ooh, these are cool. Wow. And we got these little like snowflake looking ones. Mammillaria gracilis aruga, $4.95. Ooh. Look at these. These are the ones that I like see around quite a bit. White lady finger cactus, $7.95. Oh, look at these. I love these kind. I forget what they're called though. I'm trying not to poke myself. Oops, never mind. Unsuccessful. <laughs> Ooh. And then we have some plumosas. I love these kind. They're really beautiful. White feather cactus. $6.95. Ooh, look at this one. I am obsessing. Doesn't say the name, but I love the shape of those. I do see these around though, but I'm like obsessed with them. What are these? Sorted cacti. Now these are really uncommon and hard to find. These little purple ones and then they push off little pups. $11.95, what a great deal. So grouchy. I forgot to water mine and it died. It shriveled up. But it was so easy. I just messed up. Oh look, I guess they get kind of tall. I didn't realize. And can we just like take a moment to appreciate this dark, dark purpley green fella? Black Rabutia, $6.95. Oh my word. And I saw these the last time I was here. It's so interesting. Copiopoa hypogea, $5.95. They look like little blobs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then these little ones. I, um,. If these didn't have such big spikes, maybe I would take one home because I like all the little, like, I like all the little balls, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Tenulia minusculia, $5.95. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, that's interesting. $8.95. I mean, there's just so many. I mean, look at these little fuzzy ones, and they're just little babies. Oh, I got one of these from here, and it's doing so good. The $8.95, a tephro cactus, also known as pine cone cactus, and it's easy to see why. Um, this is another type of pine cone cactus, but this one's called paper spine, and you can tell because like the little spines are, are just like paper, but this one is without the spines, and I'm obsessed with both. And we have little domino cactus here, $6. Wow, look at these. They look like little stars. Wow, look at this one. Oh, and it's flowering. That is cool. I don't know what kind that is, but that's a maybe. I've never seen that before. Look, if you know what kind that is, definitely let me know. Oh, they have Astrophytum here, which literally you can never find in Charlotte. Cactus Club occasionally has one, but um, these are $10. I picked one of these up the last time I was here. I love, love, love Astrophytum. Look how amazing they are. Oh. Pharaoh cactus, $4.95. They had variegated ones the last time. I'm wondering if they still have them or if they sold out. I forgot to pick one up the last time. Boo. Keep my fingers crossed. They still have one left somewhere. I reveal the places and then they sell out. <laughs> and I forgot to grab one. What else do we have here? Wow, these guys are so cool. Look at that. Notor cactus. Ooh, look at this one. Crested. They have a sort of variety, so this is a crested, that one. Oh my goodness. Look at them all. 
This one's really cool. These are really nice too. They're also, um, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they're known as like bread cactus because they look like a little loaf of bread. All right, kind of just walking along, see if there's anything else interesting. Look at these, oh my goodness. They're so freaking fuzzy. Kill and Coey Snow White plan to plant, so cute. There was like a, like a Buddha's temple, but a spiral Buddha's temple. So I'm gonna see if they still have those. Gosh, you know, they're very stocked, but I think they sell through their plants quickly. Cause a lot of this is different than last time. Oh, and I'm not even mentioning like, as I'm walking along, there's all sorts of Hoya up here. And you know, they had variegated Hindi rope last time, like a lot of them, and I don't see any variegated Hindi rope this time. So maybe I'll stumble across it. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest little plant ever. Sedum. They have all sorts of different ones. Crap. Tolarium, look at these little like delicate. You know what's great with these type of succulents? If you put it in the right planter that really accentuates, it looks like candy or flowers. I love it. Oh, they have moonstone ones. Pink moonstone. Little lithops. Oh, they have like actual ones that are lavender pebbles I see these kind on Instagram and I can't stop staring at them well I got one of these from here and it's doing really well they're the rose succulents so they look like roses you can't find them very often lovely rose it's a hybrid ten dollars isn't that cool oh my gosh look at these little guys ah, so cute Oh, they have variegated carry eye, 45. Um, I have a knuckle full of spine, cactus spines in my <laughs> hand. Ant plant, hmm, these are really cool. I have one of those. What is this one? See what else we can find. Wow, what are these? I have never seen these before. Look at those little juicy guys. <laughs> so cool. Put that with like little white rocks around it or something. Those are really, really neat. Again, if you know about anything about these plants, like please leave it in the comments. Cause I'm still learning. Slowly. <laughs> different varieties here. Look at these, these are cool. I love them. Like some of them I recognize work because I see them all the time shopping, but some of these are totally, like I've never seen them before. Silver Fountain, look at this one. This one is different. Wait, what is that? <laughs> And a lot of these are little babies. Okay, coming into the Crassula. Barkel, Barkeli, that's interesting. Crassula bevifolia. Okay, here's the one I was interested in. It's the Crassula spiralis, where it looks like a Buddha's temple one, but it spirals. I'm definitely interested in that. All right, I'm glad they still have one. They're like sold out of a lot of the other ones I was interested in. Let's keep going though. All right, so many cool plants. Oh, 
string of hearts, orange river. That's different, $14.95. String of hearts, orange river. What is this, string of spades? Big full planters of it. Ooh, another Crassula pangolin. Those are really neat. Look at these little guys. What is this? No name. They have a little variegated string of hearts here. $13, great deal. These little flowers, oh my goodness. Ooh, this little fuzzy guy. So many cool plants here. I'm just like in total heaven. What else? What else? Hmm. Okay, here's the Buddha's temple. They have big ones. $8.95 for this huge Buddha's temple. See, this is like the, this is the non-spiral one. I've never seen ones this big though for that price, $8.95. And there's multiple ones in the planter. Like that's really cool. I'm obsessed. What are these interesting pink guys? Variegated watch chain. So we all know watch chain, but they have variegated ones. $6.95. Amazing. Little crassulas. Hoyas. I grabbed one of these when I was here last time. Oh, they have lots of bear paws. $6.95 for the little little guys that look just like bear paws, one of my favorite succulents. These are nice. Cotton cotton doyle. Higgins A. Higgins Higgins E. Oh, they have lots of aloe varieties. Do you know there's over 500 species of aloe? I did not realize that. But look, they have tons of them here. These are all aloe. Aloe, aloe, aloe some really bright ones. Like, look how pink that is. Flowering. They have Gasteria. At one point they had variegated as Gasteria. Gasteria. Oh, look, they do. I still have it. I picked up one from here. $7.95. Look how cool that is. Like, never see that. Ooh, they have the little minis. You know, look how sweet that is. Variegated, oh, that one's not for sale. So it looks like they're propagating some more, but they have them here as well. What else do we have? It's nice just to be able to like take my time and look through everything. That one's cool. Ooh. Kind of like a creature crawling up. Worthia. Some we have uh, lots of Haworthia varieties, like the jewel Haworthias. Look at that! These are some of the coolest freaking plants. They're awesome. We're used to seeing them around now, but for a long time they were impossible to find. Look at these; they're almost see-through. Can you imagine seeing one of these out in nature? Be like, what is that? Oh, we have a little, what is this one? Melon spurge euphorbia. We saw one of those in the other area. Oh, these are cool. Oh, Horthia truncata. Those are really cool. Wow, this one's bigger. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh 
my gosh, look at this one. Is this the same kind? Yeah. Oh my goodness, these are all, uh, a lot of these are still houseplants, like Hoyas. Ooh, look at this fishtail Hoya, $29.95. Oh, okay. They just moved it around a little bit. Lacanosa. I almost got this one last time. Cunning Hamas, $17.95 Hoya. Really cool Hoya. Look at this one. I love the purple color. So neat. They have Hoya Cronianus uh, black. Which you just don't, you just don't see that that often. The Hoya Croniana Black. They have Callisto Phyla. I mean, I'm sure I'm missing stuff. There's just so much here. They have Hoya Bella, $14.95 for these beautiful Hoya Bella, Hoya Rosita, Hoya Wyetii, $14. Chelsea. They have Exotic Tricolor, $17. Hoya Gracilis, $15. They have the Senecio variegated um it kind of looks like ivy but it's not and it's really it's the same family as string of hearts it's a really cool one look at these guys oh my gosh Ooh, they have beautiful desert rose um 24.95 look at those flowers oh they're so like happy and healthy and thriving i love to see it what do we have here and these little cheerful guys. Letty Borea Socialis Variegated Judah. Oh, it's um freaking Silver Squill, but Variegated Silver Squill. <gasps> guys, did you know about this? Was this a secret I wasn't in on? Variegated Silver Squill. Great plant, super easy. Cannot believe they have a freaking variegated version. Oh, look, there's big ones over here. Oh my gosh, and this one's even blooming. How much? Oh, not for sale. <laughs> Are all of these stock plants? No, not for sale, stock plant. Okay, so these are stock plants. Let's go over here to the smaller ones. $12.95. But the stock plants are beautiful to see like what it looks like when it's grown up. Love it. That's so neat. And I think these are like the solid green ones maybe. Oh, they have a frizzle sizzle. I remember these when I first started getting into plants, I just was amazed by them uh, because of the little curly leaves. They're so cool. $12.95, frizzle sizzle. <laughs> Aw, that brings back memories. What do we have here? Oh, these are like, uh, I think they're called like Devil's Backbone, but there's different varieties of them. This one's white variegated, $5.95. And Splish Splash, $7.95. That splish splash one is really cute. And they still have all of these plants, but these are outdoor varieties. They do have some colocasia over here, but these really do prefer being, you know, more outdoor plants and they tend to go dormant, but they have some neat varieties like teacup and black magic and black beauty. So they have some really cool ones. $15. This is the little store that they have inside. They sell all sorts of cute little, I don't know, gardening statues and accessories. And then they also have a bunch of planters. I just thought I'd pop in here, enjoy, enjoy some AC. That's big. It goes all the way back there. Yeah, enjoy some AC and see what all is going on in here. Oh, these are nice little succulent pots. Fa oh my god. Five dollars. <gasps> Five dollars. That's so cool. Ooh. Okay. Let us see, let us see. Those are fifteen dollars. They have these little clay pots, $5.95. Oh, and they have a drainage hole. 
These are so nice. Little terracotta. Oh, this one comes with like a little set of three. $5.95, set of three. Maybe I'll get a couple planters while I'm here. Gosh, I'm already getting too many plants. So, mm. ooh, these are nice. <gasps> How much are you? 17. Mm. <sighs> they have great stuff here. Self-watering. What a cute spot. I'm obsessed. I wish they were closer. I'd be here every weekend. $11.95. Oh my gosh, this is $11.95. Oh, the pot is separate. I was about to say. Oh. So cute. Little squammy. Oh, I love the planter they have it in. That looks nice. All right, as promised, it is the plant haul portion of the videos. Big bloomers did not disappoint. Time to get going on the haul because I have a lot of plants to share. The first plant that I picked up is this beautiful philodendron or Shoesii aurea. I have this exact philodendron, but the regular ones growing under my beautiful Soltec grow light, and it is going bananas with new growth. It's insane. I'm gonna share a video on that because it's so crazy. But um, when I saw that they had this color of that plant, I couldn't believe it. And it was $44, $44.95. And it's not like a little baby philodendron. It's a nice, you know, it's a good sized plant. Now, these leaves are still in their juvenile form, but you know, as this plant gets bigger and I give it the right growing conditions, these leaves are going to look insane. I don't know anybody that has this plant. So if you do have this type of plant, please let me know care tips on it. Okay, look. So yeah, this plant does not need to be repotted. You can see the roots, but it's not compact. There's still a lot of soil around those roots. So yeah, I'm gonna hold off on repotting this one. That's good to know. And it looks pretty healthy with no pests, so I'm just gonna do a little treatment on the leaves and it should be good to go. You'd think with such a big plant that the roots would be more compact, but it's not, and they, the roots look really good too, like the roots are white and not a dark color. Now don't forget, as I'm going through, like let me know if there's any plants you would have chosen, like plants that I missed that you would have picked out. It's always fun to hear. So on a similar note, I also got this one, which is the Ring of Fire Gold. So this one doesn't have any like variegation on it. It just is this beautiful lime green color. Now, Jungle Boogie and Ring of Fire have these awesome, awesome leaves that are really kind of jaggedy like that. And it just becomes more and more so the larger they get. I just am obsessed with both of my other, my Jungle Boogie and my Ring of Fires that I had to get this one because the other ones are so easy. I'm a little overly sensitive to what lighting this plant and this plant needs because of the color. So let me know. So this plant is an incredible, incredible find. It is a variegated prickly pear cactus or variegated Apuntia. And you guys have heard me talk about finding variegated Apuntias at different big box shops. And that's a different variety normally. They have a lot of spines on there um, and they're fabulous, but they're different than this one. And this one doesn't have spines on it. And these are usually really expensive. And do you know I found this for $5? I love the shape of it. Like how cool is that? It has this brand new growth up here at the top. And I hope Big Bloomers never changes. Like I hope they continue to provide us with some really great plants that are, you know, aren't incredibly expensive because it's nice to shop somewhere that's not, you know, a million dollars for plants. Oh, this next one, you guys are gonna love it. Okay, this is a Peperomia Pink Marble. Now you all know we love our pink lady Peperomia. She's a winner, but this is Pink Marble. And I actually heard about this one from Cactus Club and it was $11.95, like such a great deal, really healthy plant. In the center of the leaves, it's pink. And then it kind of spreads out and has this like whitish variegation. I just really appreciate this plant. It has all sorts of new growth on it and I'll kind of spin it around so you can see like how great it is. 
when they get thirsty, don't overwater them. Like don't leave them sitting in very moist soil. Give them some water, but make sure the soil's well draining. Make sure that they're not sitting in water because they'll die like that. Oh my gosh, this one is so good. It's a pothos emerald. I had to look this one up because I thought it was a global green pothos. Totally different. Pothos emerald is really uncommon and it looks similar to uh, global green, but the variegation is different. Where global green has like really bright green in the middle and then dark green on the outside. This one has like dark green in the center of the leaves, a little bit of light green. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like not as noticeable, but they're really uncommon according to online. So I had to jump at it. $7.95. And this one is great. Look how bushy it is. There's a ton of growth happening. Like, look at this little, look at that cool leaf. And the reason why I'm so excited about this one is that pothos are amazing. And as plant parents that have a lot of plants, we appreciate the easy ones. Even if we don't have a lot of plants, it's really nice to have easy ones. Look at this one. You get so attached to a plant and then it's like, you don't want them to die. So, it's amazing. Do you, what do you guys think about Pothos Emerald? Do you like it? In person, you can tell, you know, the different colors and stuff. I don't know about on camera, but I'm really excited about this one. Continuing on, I have a lot of plants. So next up, dun da da da. It's a silver squill, but a variegated one. This is also known as a leopard lily. That's the more common name that you hear, leopard lily. And I have one of these in my little bonus room plant area. And it's so easy care. It's great. It doesn't require anything. Like it doesn't have to have super high light and it does really well. And they had some other varieties of silver squill, leopard lily. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? It looks like a Tradescantia, doesn't it? I'm so excited about all of them. $4.95, best thing ever, but it's a uh, Crassula spiralis. So it's just like a Buddha's temple Crassula, but it spirals. So you can see here that it's like a spiraling Buddha's temple. I've never seen this anywhere except for big bloomers. Oh yes. All right. This one I was super excited about and I had my eye on it after last time. It's amazing. It's so cobwebby. It's like the most cobwebby I've ever seen on a plant. I don't know if it's going to fully translate on camera. And it's a variegated one and it's so purpley and beautiful. It kind of looks like a Nanook, but with this really neat stuff all over it. Can you just tell like, Oh yeah, gotta get up close. Look how cobwebby. Oh my God, it's so cool. Oh, I love it so much. It's amazing. Look at that. Anyways, so this is my new baby. Love her. All right, last plant. It is this little cute euphorbia. Oh, look how cute it is, 9.95. Euphorbia trigona variegata. And I just thought this was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. It really reminds me of my Euphorbia lactea, my ghost cactus, um, except this one has green in it. And look at these leaves. Oh my gosh, look at those little baby leaves coming out. It's got hair. It's just so cute. I was obsessed with this. All right, so those are all the plants I got. Don't forget to tell me which plants you would have chosen if you would have been plant shopping with me today. So if you'd like to see future episodes show up in your newsfeed, make sure to subscribe. And we also have an amazing plant community on Instagram that we would love for you to be part of. And thank you again to Glasses USA for partnering with me on this episode. I love my glasses and my transitions lenses. GlassesUSA.com offers over 9,000 prescription glasses at up to 70% off retail prices. Click the link in my description below to check out their beautiful glasses and transitions lenses. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.